Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take two routers. Very simple topology here, they're connected with fast ethernet and we've got a loop back in on each router. We're going to pop everything into ERGRP and just see that we have basic adjacency and uh, routes going across. So what we have is we've got two routers as you can see. We've got, uh, I already have the IP addresses set up. Hopefully you know all right you already know how to do that and they're connected with fast zero zero so we're going to go to router one you can see here we're just going to verify that we have our IP addresses set up correctly show IP and PR we've got fast ethernet zero zero we've got our loop back pretty much everything's up and up I'm going to ping across just to verify that I have connectivity and we have success alright so we're going to conf T mode router EIGRP one so the one is autonomous system number and they have to match between adjacent routers so if you put router EIGRP1 on one router and then on the other router let's say you mess up and you put EIGRP2 then it's not going to work so here router EIGRP1 and now we're in the router config mode then we're going to do a no auto summary and uh, I'll probably do a video just on this command later on but what it does is EIGRP by default automatically summarizes everything to the classful, classful boundary so what that means is let's say you have uh, a whole bunch of subnets that start with 10 so 10.1, 10.2, you know, 10.3, dot whatever then what it's going to do is it's going to kill all of your subnet information and make it all a slash 8 so it's uh, EIGRP trying to be helpful for you but most most of the time you don't want that so no auto summary and in probably 90 percent of the configurations out there I see uh, no auto is just it's it's always in there so usually it's it's sort of like router rip right router rip version 2 no auto it's one of those things you just type in so we've typed in router EIGRP 1 no auto now we need to pop in our interfaces into EIGRP and if you've dealt with RIP or OSPF then you are familiar with the network command so on router 1 we're going to use the cheating way of doing it we're going to just throw everything into EIGRP and the command for that is network 0000 this particular command also works in OSPF so network all zeros going to exit out then we're going to do a quick verification, show IP protocols. You always want to do that. And you can see here we are routing for EIGRP1. We've got our metric weights, hop count, variance, all that good stuff. And we'll have videos about all that uh, later on. Okay, so router 1 is good. We're now going to go to router 2. Move my terminal window over here. So router 2, conf T, router EIGRP1 no auto and then on this particular one eh, well we'll just use the cheating command again I'll do a video later on on the different ways you could put in the interfaces with the network command so pretty easy network 0000 so probably the simplest EIGRP configuration you've ever done and you'll get a status message saying that there's been a neighbor change and you've got a neighbor at 1111 which is router 1 and there's a new adjacency we do a quick verification, show IP protocols, and we've got lots of stuff set, and we have a gateway, a neighbor at 1.1.1 to 1. Okay, so how do we know that it actually works? Let's do a show IP route, and now we have a D route. We can get to the 10.1.1.0 network, and as I move my terminal window over, you can see that is the loopback address of router 1. Okay, so we should be able to ping it there we go and we could do other commands like show IP EIGP neighbor show IP EIGP neighbors detail Whoop. there we go and show IP EIGP topology right and we'll have uh, more videos about those later on so this is basically a quick and easy video on how to get two routers up and running and everything into EIGP thanks for watching